Hello my earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. How are you guys? This is a general reading. As always, we're going to be focusing on what your person needs you to know before the end of this year and possibly even what's coming in for you early part of next year. So let's take a look at that general reading as I've mentioned guys, so it won't resonate with every single person. Please do take from this what makes sense for you. Release the rest. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description description box. And of course, I will include a link to all of the decks and creators that you see here today. So my Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, these are the three decks that we're going to be pulling dialogue messages from to give us an indication of where they're at, what are they thinking, what are they feeling to frame the overall theme of this reading to see how this is all going to go for you. So this first deck is the Untold Messages of the Heart by Aqua Moonlight. This second one is my self-created deck, the X Oracle, and we'll pull a couple of messages from the Love Messages deck by High Priestess 1111. So let's begin and see how this goes for Earth signs. And of course, cross watchers are certainly welcome. Okay. So what is your person thinking? What do they need you to know before this year comes to an end? So we'll grab two messages from each deck here. The first message, look at this. I miss you. Okay. They are reminiscing about the memories that the two of you have shared. Maybe you've even wondered, it's like, do they even give me a second thought? Do they even think about me? They do. They miss you. Okay. Let's grab this one. I didn't know what I had until you were gone. Lesson learned. Whoa. So something about a lesson that your person had learned once you left their life. It's like having that light bulb moment, that epiphany, almost a little bit too late. Okay, so that's what's presenting itself here and what your person needs you to know before this year comes to an end, that they miss you and they've learned a very valuable lesson because they maybe d didn't appreciate you or they didn't treat you right or took you for granted when you guys were together. And they have learned something truly as far as the role that you played in their life. So let's go ahead and grab a couple messages from the X Oracle deck. So for those who are in separation and not together, where is your X at in their heart space? When it comes to you, when it comes to the memories, when it comes to the connection, what are they thinking and feeling? Okay, let's grab this card here. I wish you the very best life has to offer. I just want you to be happy, even if it is without me. So, of course, there's no guarantee of people coming back together, but they do wish you happiness, even if it's not with them. But I'm also feeling from your person here that they would want nothing more than to be with you. They miss you. They have some regrets here that I'm picking up. I did not know what I had until you were gone. Let's grab one more here. Look at this. Let's bring us back. They want you back. You see? They miss you. And I'm, I'm feeling for some of you guys, they could have even been the reason as to why you guys are not together. They could have been the one that walked away from you. And now they, they are telling you, I miss you and let's bring this back. For some of my earth signs though, I do feel that your situation called for you to walk away from this person. All right, so let's grab a couple messages from the Love Messages deck by High Priestess 1111. 
Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. What is in your person's heart for you? That you are so sexy. They're very attracted to you still. Let's see what else. Please understand that I was in pain. I never meant to ruin things. I never meant to ruin us. That is pretty insightful when it comes to your person learning these lessons. So if they were in pain, maybe there was a situation with someone, something that really hurt them and they never processed that pain. They never healed from it. And I say this all the time, hurt people hurt people. Someone who's hurt will hurt someone else. And now they've come to realize I never meant to ruin things between us. And that they, they miss you. They want you back. Okay, so those are the dialogue messages starting things off here for you and your person, my earth signs. So let's go ahead and add to this with the Moody Moon Messages Masculine Edition. We'll take a look at the Divine Masculine first to see where they're at on this journey. Some regrets here. Angels and Spirit Guides for Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus for the Masculine. So this is a deck, if I didn't mention it, by Sister Moon Tarot. Angels and spirit guides, please. What else do we need to know on behalf of the Divine Masculine? Connected. Energy. Telepathy. Knowing. Even though you guys are not physically together, you're still connected. You're still communicating. Maybe in the 5D for now. There's also that inner knowing. Energetically, you guys are still picking up off of each other's vibrations here. We have mysterious, evasive, quiet, secretive. That could have been how they were before. They weren't open and honest with you. They didn't perhaps reveal who they truly were on the inside, or they were holding back from investing fully in the partnership. They could have also been keeping secrets from you. Someone who's evasive isn't always making themselves available to you, or you guys could have certainly started conversations and they didn't really want to open up. Instead of participating in the conversation, maybe they just kind of kept quiet and listened to you instead of having a two-way conversation. We've got this jealous energy here from the masculine, watching, insecure, paying attention. So with a breakup here, and if you're a feminine tuning in and if you've moved on to someone else, your masculine is coming through here that they're keeping tabs on you. They're very insecure though, because more than likely you've already moved on to someone else, which is why they're jealous. They're very sad. Look at that. Depressed, grief, forlorn. But I'm picking up here as well that unfortunately they contributed to why they are here. This is brought about as a result of not realizing what they had when they had it. They want to bring the romance back. Loving, emotional, sentimental. They want to reconnect. It's already coming through here. Let's bring us back. Your masculine has gone through an awakening here, my feminines. They've been enlightened. And I feel there's something about the connection with you that 
still inspires them perhaps to live a better life, do better for themselves. I'm also feeling that for some of you guys, maybe your masculine was hoping to find someone way better suited for them. Someone that perhaps they felt was a better partner, a better fit for them. And that ended up not being the case. That's why that this card is here. I didn't know what I had until you were gone. And so now they're very sad, they're depressed, they're grieving the end of this partnership because it hurts. And then we have abandoned right here. Some of you guys might have been dealing with a masculine who had abandonment issues. Going back to this dialogue card right here, please understand that I was in pain. This could have been what they were dealing with and they didn't process that pain. They were left behind by somebody that they loved that could stem back as far as their childhood. It could have, it could have been a family member, a parent, or even a friend who let them down, who abandoned them, left them behind. And so when they get into situations perhaps where it's actually a good thing and it's a good relationship. They don't know how to handle it. They're used to being hurt. They're used to being triggered by certain things. So in addition to realizing that they've got regrets and they didn't know what they had until you left their life. Part of the lesson here is to deal with their abandonment issues, perhaps, if that's something that you know your masculine has been dealing with. And lastly, we have nostalgic, which we already know from this card, memory, I miss you. It says it right here, missing, yearning, reflecting. That is where your masculine is at, my feminines. They've had a lot to deal with, I feel. But they want to be able to restore the romance here between the two of you. So let's go ahead and add to this. This is a deck called The Journey to the Divine Feminine by Divine Moon Empress. So let's add to this. So my feminines, where are you at on this journey? Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. Capricorn and Taurus. Where are you at on this journey, my feminines? What do we need to know here for you? We've got tunnel vision. Passionately focusing exclusively on one's goals, dreams, and visions. Building an empire. Okay? So my feminines, you are on a very particular path here in your life. You're focusing on you, your goals, your passions, your dreams. You may not be with your person, your masculine here. So you're building this empire of yours on your own. I'm also feeling for some of you, maybe you even talked about this with your masculine where you guys had similar dreams, similar goals, maybe career goals or starting your own business or doing something together where it was the two of you and it did not pan out. So here you are focusing on you. You're also being directed to pay attention to your intuition at this time, my feminines, that gut instinct what it's telling you about your love life, about this person, about decisions that perhaps you're wanting to make before this year comes to an end. And I love this card. Recognition. Being proud of yourself. Giving yourself credit for all the hard work that you have put into your journey of healing. And I do feel for some of you guys, it is your masculine who failed 
to do the work on themselves, which is why perhaps they needed to learn these lessons during the separation, which is why they're going through some challenges right now. You know, we've got sad, depressed, abandoned. So they're missing you. They're feeling very nostalgic. And I'm feeling this very powerful energy from my feminines. You're actually, you might be in a good place in your life right now. Because of this, look at that, healing. You're taking the time to heal and work on yourself, your journey, your growth. Which is really good. What else for my feminine? What else for the feminine? Spirit animal. A reflection of you crosses your path to guide or protect you on your journey. A metaphor for someone or something you relate to or admire. There could, some of you guys might even have a pet that could be considered to be your spirit animal. It could be a cat, a dog, a bird, whatever it is. You're being guided. You're being protected. That's what's presenting itself here. So some pretty interesting messages already coming through here. So let's add to this with some tarot. This is my modern day Sears tarot and oracle. This is tarot with a twist. It's got 117 cards total. It contains the original 17, 17, 78 cards that you would normally get in any tarot deck. This also contains original, what am I trying to say? I can't speak today. It contains additional oracle messages as well as additional new court cards that I've created exclusive for this deck. And just like my tarot teacher, the cards have upright and reversed meanings. So it makes it super simple to learn for beginners and anyone interested in honing their skills in reading tarot. So if you're interested in this deck, that deck shop link is down below and I feel a tickle. Let me just grab some water. Hold on guys. Now, for those of you who are familiar with my channel, Sometimes I get a tickle in my throat when there is a blockage in communication. And sometimes I've even had full-on coughing attacks during a reading. So after having experienced that for about 30 years, I just put two and two together and it's throat chakra blockages in, during a reading and makes me cough. But luckily it's not too bad today. So let's see what else. Okay, so we've got the Empress, but the Empress coming up in the reverse. So the Empress represents divine feminine energy. This could be a feminine living in excess, somebody who smothers someone, someone who's selfish. This could also represent infertility, somebody who's very insecure and depends on other people too much. So if you're feminine tuning in and if you're able to relate to that particular aspect of the Empress, perhaps this is something that you've worked through during this recognition, during your healing journey. This could have contributed for some of you guys as to why things ended up breaking apart between you and your masculine. Maybe your masculine felt that they were being smothered. Some of you perhaps wanted to start a family and that wasn't happening. That as well could be a challenge for some of you. So our Empress card coming up in the reverse. We do have the White Rose card coming through for some of you. 
purity, grace, innocence, humility, new beginnings, which I love, a budding love. So for some of you guys, this could be new love coming in for you. Along with the new year comes new love and a new beginning. This can, of course, be a reconnection for those of you who are in separation. You're missing each other. This white rose could give you guys a fresh new start. Let's see what else. We've got the Fool, which I love, okay? It's another card talking about new beginnings, a fresh start. Taking that leap of faith to go after your goals, your dreams, whatever it is. And starting fresh, which I really love these two cards next to each other. New year, new beginning. New year, new beginning. Four earth signs. We've got the two of pentacles right here. This is your own earth energy. Maybe you've been juggling a lot this year. Responsibilities for some of you. Maybe people, maybe you're undecided about one or two people that you are considering relationships with. But this is also an indication of what you might have endured this year. Just the ups and downs of life going through financial stresses for those of you that relate to that. So many people during this pandemic year have lost jobs who have not been able to work, who have barely been able to put food on the table or to pay your bills. So it's been difficult. But it's time for you to perhaps prioritize, to adapt to the changes that you need to make in your life. You've got the redwood tree right here letting you know that you got to tap into your strength, that you're a survivor, that no matter what has happened this year, you're still standing. This has tapped into your wellness, longevity, safety, which is so crucial this year. Isn't it interesting? You know, everybody having to social distance, put on your masks, be safe. You know, our well-being, our health, all of those things have been affected, our vitality. So it makes sense that this redwood tree is here to remind you of how strong you are. This could also be indicative of communication that comes in, or at least better communication between you and your person. You've got the three of wands here, so it's time to really look ahead. It's time to look ahead, my earth signs. What does 2021 have in store for you? What does the future have in store for you? It's time for you to create changes and make good choices for your life that will fulfill you and make you happy. Now, for some of you, the three of wands can sometimes represent a long distance romance. So take that only if it makes sense, of course. And then we've got the Three of Swords here. So some of you could have been a part of a love triangle, a third party situation. This is another card of sorrow, of grief, of depression, which we already have from the Divine Masculine right there. Sad, depressed, grief. Pretty much sums up the energy of the Three of Swords. Heartbreak over a betrayal or feeling very lonely. Depression. It's all reflected right there. So you guys have had your heart broken, possibly as a result of infidelities and love triangles for some of you. But with the Page of Cups comes a happy surprise here for my Earth signs. This can, of course, indicate a person as well. Page of Cups representing water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For some of you, maybe your person could be younger than you. The Page of Cups is all about creative opportunities, someone who's a dreamer, a sensitive lover, someone who's very curious. It could also indicate romantic proposals 
or even engagements that could lead towards marriage. So maybe your person will get the ball rolling to make that happen. So that 2021 could actually be a very special year for you. And then we've got Archangel Raguel. I am the angel who can restore harmony, heal conflicts and arguments, as well as mending understandings in your relationships. I can help you gain the wisdom to smooth out tensions and hostilities in your romantic connections. My presence can aid in bringing in peace, forgiveness, and the calm of God's grace and blessings. I can help you miraculously heal even the most difficult love situations. I love it. And then we've got the Three of Cups here, which is all about celebrations, very happy energy, reunions. This does represent new love for some of you, but it can also represent a new beginning for two people and that things can still work out here. Again, another card of new beginnings, weddings, engagements. Totally possible for some of you. And then we've got the star Aquarius specifically, so there's still hope here. There is still hope that you guys can go in a different direction and have a wish that can still manifest itself. If you want your person back, you can manifest that. And lastly, we've got the Hermit, which is Virgo specifically, a time of soul searching, Maybe a time to just spend on your own, to reflect, to reevaluate where this year has gone and what you can do differently in 2021 to create change for the better, to bring about reunions, reconciliations with those you are in separation from, whether romantic, family or friends. I have a feeling here that there's a lot that you've been thinking about. There's a lot you want to change, a lot you want to do. And with the star right next to it, just hold on, you know, just have faith that this is all going to work itself out. You're being directed towards a path of illumination where you're going to know exactly where you need to go. Look at this. We've got the six of cups. So there is a happy reunion that's coming in for some of you. There's someone that you've been in separation from that you miss. They miss you. They didn't appreciate you when they had you. They didn't know what they had until you were gone. But if you still love this person, if you still want them to be a part of your life, there's still an opportunity to turn this around. As long as there's hope, you've got blessings from Archangel Raguel here, restoring harmony. You've got the Fool's card giving you a new beginning and actually other cards here talking about new beginnings. You can find your happiness still. Okay, so let's add to this with some charm cards by Mystic Moon. Let's see what else needs to come through here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for my earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. What else, please? We've got skull and crossbones. Okay, caution. It's like a warning sign for some of you guys. You'll know if there's something that you're being warned by here in your life at this point in time, whatever red flags need to be addressed right now. What else for Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus? We've got butterfly, which I love development things are developing and changing and moving lightning bolt sudden okay so there are unexpected things that will be happening perhaps in the upcoming days or even leading into the new year and 
it's going to make such an impact on you. It's a life changing moment. Just be careful of the warning signs here. We have unicorn fantasy land. So if there's something that you've been fantasizing about or someone that you have been fantasizing about, which there's nothing wrong with fantasizing. We all do it. But you don't want to you don't want to stay in fantasy land. You definitely want to take a look and see what changes need to happen in the 3D world to manifest your goals, your dreams, whether that's applied to your love life or some other aspect of your life. Candy cane, sweet surprise coming in. Okay, we've got the holiday season reflected here still. We've got Christmas coming up in a couple of days. So maybe Christmas Day for some of you or around that time. You've got a sweet surprise coming in from your person maybe. And now here we are. The rose, red rose for the feminine. And we've got more red roses up here. So your masculine finds you to be very attractive still. Still feeling the connection. Feeling nostalgic about you. Remembering the good times. Wanting to restore the romance. So my feminines, perhaps for some of you guys, the next few days before this year comes to an end, you will hear from your masculine. That's for some of you guys. They miss you. And for some of you, maybe the, the holidays, Christmas time is a very special time for you. It might be a favorite time of year. Certainly a very romantic time for some people. So that's what's coming through. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some time frames here. I get a lot of questions on when something or when something's going to happen, when someone's going to return, you know, when will I hear from this person, which of course time frames, it's just no guarantee because everyone's got their own free will and time is constantly changing. It's fluid, but we could certainly try and we can come up with possibilities of when something might happen. So we're going to use three decks here. We'll start things off with the Lost in Time Oracle. This is by Calico Moon. So let's take a look at some time frames here or time related messages for Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. What else do we need to know here? So if you have a particular when question, now is the time to ask. Let's see what the angels bring forward. Take whichever one of these, as always, resonates with you personally. What do we have? Thanksgiving, family drama, needs resolution. Something might have happened for some of you during Thanksgiving, this past Thanksgiving, or even years past, if that's something that makes sense for you. Certainly this year, there has been a lot of drama as far as just being able to get together with family, with friends, our loved ones. We've got the waning moon right here. It's a time of reflection. It's a time of purging and decluttering our lives. This is a perfect time. We're heading towards the end of this year. Get rid of things that you know need to stay in your past, need to stay here in 2020. Don't carry it forward into 2021. We've got many lifetimes, endless connection. We have from the masculine connected already, telepathic communication. So some of you guys could have certainly lived past lifetimes. Ooh, celebrate, let loose, birthday. So for some of you guys, you've got a birthday coming up. Especially my Capricorns here. And I'm actually 
recording this today. So some of you guys, it's Capricorn season. And there's something very special that could be happening for my Capricorn specifically. But this can, of course, apply to Virgos and Tauruses when your birthday does come around in 2021. Something of significance could be happening between you and your person or something happening in your life around that time. Even past birthdays could certainly hold very special memories between you and this person. We have the month of November coming through as well, which we just ended November. It says prepare. So maybe for some of you, the month of November means something. It's a time of preparation, getting ready for what's to come in the new year. It's a time of harvest. Let's grab one more. One more for Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Okay, two. We've got 1212, completion, step out of your comfort zone. Some of you might also see that time a lot. If you do, then it's trying to grab your attention. Something needs to complete. There's a cycle that needs to come to completion here. And as it says, stay out or step out of your comfort zone in order to challenge yourself, test yourself, to expand and to grow. And then we have advanced knowledge, soul learning needed. And I kind of feel that can apply to both you and your person, my earth signs. Because we've got lessons right here. And look at this. We've got Christmas. Give freely to others. If you are in a position to give and to share what you have, whether it's monetarily or some other way that you're able to give to others during this time that's been so difficult for so many. Perhaps that's why that's coming through for some of you. If you're in a position to help, then please do so. Okay, so that's coming through from that deck. All right, so let's grab some additional time frame messages. I wanted to use my deck this is my time travel or oracle when you just need to know when okay so this is a very simple deck it gets right to the point it'll tell you exactly when something might or might not happen so again for those tuning in go ahead and either say it out loud whatever your question is related to a when question time frames and or you can just think about it in your head and see what the angels bring forward for you. So we'll pull a few from this deck as well. We've got a time frame of 10 months for some of you guys. So that would mean October of next year. Maybe the month of October means something for some of you guys. So we're looking at Libra or Scorpio season. 10 months, okay? For others, we've got the winter season reflected here. Which we are in. Christmas time, holiday season, winter season, cold weather. So this is your time frame here. For others, look at this. We've got 11 months coming through, which is almost a year. So it seems that there is a bit of a waiting period as far as time frames for some of you guys. But that might not necessarily be a bad thing. Because sometimes when things happen too fast, it ends up ending just as fast as it began. Let's see what else. Time frames for Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Look at this. It might take years for some of you. And for me, whenever I see that, I feel that if you've dealt with a very difficult situation that needs a lot of healing, a lot of time, that's why this is coming through. If, for example, somebody 
with abandonment issues. That takes years to process and get through, if ever. And for those of you who have been hurt by friends, by family, by a romantic partner, either through infidelity or however way your heart was broken by this person, that also takes years. It's unrealistic to think that you can heal and forget in a month, in a week, in a day, or even a year. Let's grab one more message. And then we've got eight months. So eight, 10, 11 months, lots of time here. Lots of time. And eight months from now takes you to August for some of you guys and look at the bottom of the deck, which is August. Okay, so that's Leo and Virgo season. So my, my Virgos, there's something significant here for some of you guys. So those are some additional time frames. All right, so lastly, we're going to go ahead and grab some final time frames from this deck, the Divine Time Oracle by Bridget of Divine Essentials, okay, to wrap things up here. So what else do we need to know? When something's going to happen for the collective, for my earth signs here, angels and spirit guides. So once again, if you have a yes or no question, if you need to know when something's going to happen, go ahead and ask it now. Let's take a look and see what comes through for the collective, please. Counting minutes adds the digits. Patience, okay? Sometimes when we're so focused on time that it makes it very difficult for things to actually manifest. It could be seconds if you count all your blessings, just being grateful for what you have in your life at this point in time. This one says illusions inebriated. Time is an illusion. Release your confusion. Okay, so release your hold on any sort of expectation as to when exactly something is going to happen, because it could happen way sooner than what you thought it would, you know, so just allow the universe to make things happen for you when it's time. This one says, please never stop working on yourself. Motivation. This is something that you both can apply towards your lives as well as the connection. Never stop working on the partnership. Let's bring us back. So if you guys actually entertain a reconnection with your person, as long as you guys are both invested and willing to put in the work equally on the partnership, it can be very successful. We have 818, expansion, seeing results, awakening the infinite. So whatever you've been throwing your energies into this year, my earth signs, perhaps you haven't seen the results that you've wanted, and maybe you're losing patience on that. Just give it some time. You will eventually see the results. We have create and inspire. It'll set your life on fire. Artist. So for those of you who are artists, maybe you're a painter or you could be a celebrity. You could be in the entertainment industry. Whatever it is that you throw your creative inspirations into, it's going to create change in your life for the better. So one last message to wrap things up here. Okay, two. We've got, you're going to be shocked. Stop staring at the clock. So again, don't be so focused on time frames. Don't be so focused on when something will happen. Focus on living. Focus on working on yourself. Allow your person to do whatever it is they need to do in their own life. 
And if you guys are meant to reconnect, that's because you're both ready and willing at the same time, hopefully, to be able to get things moving in the right direction. And lastly, we've got 999 endings, cycles close, new beginnings. Yes, we're coming to the end of 2020. Allow certain cycles that you know need to end, let it end. Don't take old baggage with you into the new year. Welcome in this new beginning with a clean slate. And just based off of what's presenting itself here, my earth signs, there's some pretty good things that are coming in for you. Remember, you've got the star card right there. Okay? A wish that can still manifest, letting you know that there is still hope here. Not just in your love life, but so many areas of your life, there's still hope. But in the meantime, this is also a card of self-care, focusing on you. You can't fix someone else's issues and problems. Let them handle their own business. You've got your own that you got to deal with. Okay, so that's what I've got for you this time. My Earth Signs, I do hope whatever part of this reading resonated with you, that it helps you out and gives you an understanding of where your person is at before this year comes to an end and hopefully giving you a sense of hope and faith for what the new year can bring. All right, guys, so that's all I've got. Thank you so very much. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.